Hello beautiful so namaste welcome back welcome to another video another episode of the podcast a coffee with the angels in case you are listening to this my name is Maria for those of you who don't know me I welcome here with all my heart with all my love thank you for, for joining me today I'm here to help you finally find your inner peace find the true meaning of happiness in your life by connecting with the angels and other light beings. So today we're beginning actually a whole new month. It's the month of April 2021. It's a month where the energy is very strong. The energy is very powerful when it comes to shifting very deep energies within us, very deep wounds are being healed right now in the collective and also individually and i am here actually to bring you the energy feedback the energy updates the angel messages for this month what the angels want you to know what do the angels want you to understand right now in a personal level when it comes to the month of april so let's check with them and let's get started We're going to begin this guidance, this angel messages, with the first week of April, which is going to be from April 1st through April 9th. So get ready. Let's see what the angels, what the universe, what all light beings actually have to offer you, have to tell you during this first week. I'm going to be using my deck um, uh, from Kyle Gray. The keepers of light deck because i've been working so strongly with many ascended masters and even gods and saints this past few months their energies are very strong they're really here to help us and we actually have two of them coming through um, and let's see who is gonna help us in the first week we have love it because i've been working with her in a very strong way so we have lady venus coming through first bringing us downloads and understanding let me see i don't think you can see it um yeah so lady venus and then we have serapis bay oh my god i love him also with the card ascension um such a powerful energy what they're telling me right now is that because if you look at both of them um, Serapis Bay and also Lady Venus, they both work with this process of downloads, of understanding, spiritual growth, ascension, but one brings us the understanding of a very high vibration, universal energy, universal consciousness, and then the other brings a more human side of the story, a more physical experience when it comes to this inner growth so it's the perfect combination of expansion of spiritual growth of of soul expansion consciousness expansion where we need to unite both sides of ourselves the size that is true pure love the size that is completely awakens that it is our higher self the the the, the most beautiful essence of our being combine that energy with the shadow per se with the more dense side of us with the side of us that is pure human experience that is filled with ego with fear with doubts with questioning so they're coming together to help us reunite our beings they're saying this they're showing me this now to bring up the pieces like a jigsaw bring up the pieces together and 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 make something whole because we have been living in a complete separation of who we truly are we have been living in in broken pieces pieces that are just not the real us pieces that are just 
you know, completely alone and separated from everything else, from other parts of our existence. But they are actually bringing us, beginning this week, beginning this month, this understanding that we are so much more. We are so much more than we think we are. We are so much more conscious and much more expand, expanded than we believe we are. We are so much more than our fears and than our questions and than our doubts. We are light. We are. We do have the answers. We do have the understanding. We do have the keys that we need in order for us to heal and to overcome all of these uh, struggles that we've been going through. So they're coming together to help us understand that yes the universe do understand the fact that it is hard sometimes that we do carry a burden sometimes that it does feel heavy and painful and it feels like it's never ending but they are actually bringing us the light to help us feel the soothing energy within our hearts so we can understand that we are not alone and that if we choose to get out of this fear-based mindset we can finally reunite with who we truly are we can finally become a whole we can finally grow we can finally see things from a different perspective and they're actually inviting you to step into this version of yourself that does exist and you have to believe in it you have to really be open for it instead of being separated from it everything that's been going on right now is actually pushing us towards this understanding of our truth towards this understanding of who we are this understanding of how powerful we are of how capable we are coming out of this out of this um out of these feelings and out of this mindset that actually diminish, diminishes us, that actually makes us feel low, makes us feel less than we what we actually are. So they're inviting us to open our hearts and to remember that we are more. Remember that we can do more, we can experience more, we can go further if we choose to act from the heart instead of the fear. This is so beautiful. It resonates so much less for me. I don't know if it resonates for you guys. Let me know if it's resonating. But let's see which Archangel wants to come through. Um, I don't need the card. I have Archangel Michael here coming through with them to bring the support, to help us understand that the whole universe does, it, it, the whole universe do have our back. The universe is with us and Archangel Michael is right now by your side, trying so hard to help you feel strong, trying so hard to help you remember that you are more remember that you can do it and that the reality you are facing right now is only one point of view is only a reality that you are choosing to look at with the eyes that you are choosing to look at so Archangel Michael is actually here to bring you empowerment in order for you to finally have the courage to see things from a different perspective and to understand your pain from a different point of view to understand your struggles from a different point of view Archangel Angel Michael is by your side to support you on your journey to help you feel powerful, strong, courageous, and to help you really focus on the things that truly matter. He's saying now that it's important that you don't waste your energy in the things that are not really resonating anymore. It's time to grow. It's time to let go. It's time to really step into your true self, to really step into the blessed being that you actually are. But that can only happen if you choose to do so, if you choose to step outside of the victim mentality, outside of the of the judgmental mentality. But actually embrace what you have the tools you have right now in order for you to really go further to really get closer and closer to your goals and to your dreams because you are so capable you are so capable of achieving them but it's really time to trust and it's really time to come together it's really time to become 
whole, to be yourself and embrace your truth. No delays anymore, no excuses anymore. You feel it, you know that your heart is pushing you towards this moment of growth and this and this goal and these true dreams that you carry in your heart. So feel strong enough to look into them with hope, with faith, with power, with empowerment, with um, with light, with joy, without the heaviness, lift up the heaviness. This is what he says. I am here to help you lift the heaviness so you can see that it wasn't heavy from the beginning. It is just a matter of choosing to get there by being your true self. Okay, my dear. Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. I hope it's resonating with you guys as well. This makes so much sense for me. Um, now, let's get going. Let's see um, the next week, which is going to be the week of April 10th through April 16th. Second week of the month of April. So let me shuffle the cards again and let's see who is going to come through now for the second week to support us. So we have, wow, I love this. We have Mary Magdalene, such a soothing energy. She brings us the teacher awakens. You have something important to share, she says. Um, so Mary Magdalene is here uh, to ask you to follow your inner call and don't let anything stop you now. So she's inviting you to step into your true self, to step into your true dreams and understand that once you choose to get in there, understand that nothing is going to be on your way as long as you keep following your heart. The teacher awakens. It's time to awaken your true wisdom. It's time to awaken your true self, your authentic self. So she brings you this love and kindness and understanding, but she also wants you to feel empowered enough in order for you to follow this route, to follow this new call. She's asking you to not look back, to not compare what you have now with what you had yesterday. Every day is to be lived in the now. The tools you have today, you're not going to have tomorrow. The tools you have today, you did not have yesterday. So stop comparing. Live in the now and make sure you are really going into what you want to experience. You're really building this goal and this dream by doing what needs to be done. You need to understand, and she's saying this now, you need to understand that in order for you to reach what you desire, you need to invest in it in many ways by giving your energy to it, by giving your attention to it, by taking action towards it, by really working on your own energy and on your own vibration in order for you to be in alignment with the things that you desire. Otherwise, you're never going to get there because the vibration you have right now is not yet in alignment with that goal because otherwise you would be experiencing it now so your goal right now is to bring yourself there the angels and the universe they are here to support you they are here to help you feel strong enough they're here to help you feel inspired they are here to if you bring you the opportunities that she's saying they are knocking at your door right now so it's really a matter and she's doing this of removing your sunglasses you know and looking at things with your true eyes looking at things and and really oh my, wow she's saying this as well and really um, uh, 
choosing to see the world, to see the light without the shade, without the glasses. Why do we use sunglasses? Because sometimes the, the, the sunlight is so strong that it even hurts, right? Because you're not used to it. But she's asking you now, be courageous enough to remove the sunglasses and to allow the light to be shown to you, to allow the way to be shown to you, to allow yourself to look at the light, to look at the bright side, this is what she says, look at the bright side of the story, look at the bright side of all of this, it doesn't need to be hard, it doesn't need to be difficult, it doesn't need to be tough or painful, it just needs to be you, you just need to believe, you need to trust and you need to really do what you need to be doing in order for yourself to get there. No one is going to do it for you. You need to feel, you need to find within yourself everything you need in order for you to really make it, in order for you to really get there because you already have what you need. You just need to remind yourself about that. You just need to really choose to step into this true self, into this true reality that belongs to you by removing the shades, by removing the glasses and not fear the light, not fear this new version of yourself, not fear your goals, not fear what is coming for you because you deserve it. So make sure you are open to experience this. Make sure you're open to experience the beauty of your own dreams, the beauty of your own heart that is to be expressed through yourself, through your own energy, through your own choices. Okay, beautiful. So, so we have Mary Magdalene here. And I also, I was going to pick the card again, but I also have with her for the second week, Archangel Jophiel. Now, Archangel Jophiel, she's here to bring you joy. She's here to bring you inspiration right now and to help you see the beauty in life, to help you focus on the things that are truly beautiful, that are truly divine. Don't waste, she says this now, do not waste your energy, do not waste your own feelings with those things and people that actually don't deserve it, that actually don't serve you, that are actually not there to uplift you. Do not give your energy away as you, she's saying this, as you have been doing. It's time to really come back, to really become one again and really use all the tools, which means all the energy you have towards creating these goals, towards getting into this new version of yourself by finding that place within yourself where joy, true joy exists. You know what makes you happy. You know what inspires you. You know what really matters in your life and those who really matter. So make sure you filter the energies, the opinions, the words of people. And just take with you those who truly matter, those who are inspiring what other people tell you when it's something negative, when it's something judgmental. Remember that this only shows you what they carry within their hearts. It's not your truth unless you take it, unless you actually believe in it. So make sure you don't believe in what people say. Make sure you believe only in one thing, which is your heart, which is your dreams, which is your own desire desires, your own inspiration, beyond it all, your own truth. You know your truth, so make sure you stick with it. It doesn't matter what people say, what matters is that you are in charge and that you are investing all you have, which is abundant and infinite energy and light. You're investing all, all you have into this new version of yourself, into this building of your true self, building of your goals and dreams, because you're here to experience joy and beauty in your life. And Archangel Jophiel is here to walk with you through this journey. 
Okay, beautiful soul. Wow, wow, this has been so wonderful. Let's get going. Now, we are going to head to week number three. I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments as well if this is resonating with you. Um, but let's see. Let's see what else they have for us. Now, third week of April, it's going to be April 17th through April 23rd. So stick with me. All right. We have, again, two, two uh, energies, two um, keepers of light coming to help us and the first one uh, the first one is lady portia talking about divine order so beautiful and again she's bringing as well with her all the violet energy consciousness divine soothing energy and we have with her which is so such a beloved God, and I love him so much. It is Lord Ganesh or Ganesha bringing infinite abundance, infinite abundance. And what do they want with this beautiful soul? Together, she's really calling my attention to the flower in the heart and also to the awakening of your uh, intuition so together they want you to understand first that it's very important that you listen you listen to your intuition that you don't question your heart that you don't question um, your gut feelings you need to really remind yourself about who you are that's when you're gonna gain clarity because she says many of you guys are very confused right now Many of you guys don't really know what to do or which way to go. But she says, stay still. Allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to go through this moment with ease. Allow your heart to open like a flower in your own light to shine. Give yourself time and you will see that the more time you give yourself to heal and to reconnect because everything that is happening now is actually inviting you to reconnect that's the purpose of all the things that are going on in this moment so the purpose right now is to help you remember how important it is that you reconnect with yourself and that you stay still, that you give yourself a break, that you give yourself the time you need to recover, to feel stronger, to feel empowered again, to, to really understand who you are, to allow you know everything to be settled. So give yourself time and allow this soothing, divine, violet flame to really come through and just, you know, bring you this calmness and this spiritual growth understanding that you need right now. Now, once you pass through that, you will see that in time you will start to gain clarity because you are reconnecting you are giving yourself time to be in silence and to listen that's again she's insisting in this message that's why everything is happening as it is right now so don't fight it just allow yourself to be to be still with your feelings with the pain with the difficulties allow yourself to be there give yourself time give yourself a break from whatever it is that right now is not serving you you need to understand your own energy your own energy is showing you what to do so she's here to bring you this soothing this calmness into your heart in order order for you to be where you need to be to be still so that way you will gain clarity your energy will be much more open and you will manage to see things from a different perspective now she's coming with lord ganesh ganesha and ganesha is here to help you understand that you know the way for you to experience abundance in your life right now is by going within that's the only way you will manage to experience more 
it's not he he's saying this now it's not about doing and doing and doing and, and being ex, you know extremely hyperactive you know taking too many actions at the same time and getting more and more confused that is not how you're going to experience abundance that is not how you're going to experience even a, a financial shift in your life the way that right now you're going to get there is by going within and giving yourself time to settle down giving yourself time to do one thing at a time and to really reconnect with your energy because once you're there you will gain clarity you will manage to connect with the answers and by connecting with the answers that your heart holds for you then you will you will have uh, you will gain clear understanding about what needs to be done and once you start doing what needs to be done that's how you will experience true abundance in your life because you will be completely reconnected with who you are with your truth so ganesh is here to tell you yes the obstacles will be cleared the difficulties will be removed but only if you choose to go within and to allow the soothing love of the divine the soothing love of the angels to be within you respecting your own timing respecting your own rhythm and then you will start to gain to gain clarity so if it's not clear yet it means that you still need to be here that you still need to give your yourself a break to take some time to relax to breathe to heal because what is causing the confusion what is causing the this feelings of this connection is because your energy in these moments since we are receiving so many downloads of new vibrations your energy needs to settle down your energy needs to get used to this to these new vibrations that the whole collective is actually receiving now so if you're more sensitive you're going to start to feel it in a stronger way if you're more awake and you will start to understand it in a different way so ganesh is actually telling you just wait be patient and breathe allow yourself to step into that inner place of love of calmness receiving this divine light breathing in this violet energy so you feel the soothing support of the universe instead of the fear instead of the desire of having things right now breathe and understand that if you give yourself a break if you give yourself time to heal and to settle then you will go even further you will manage to go even higher you will manage to experience even more abundance in your life that's the way to remove obstacles is by actually removing the obstacles that already live already exist within yourself okay beautiful so and now we're gonna be here okay we are receiving with them because we have lady portia here we are receiving here as well archangel zadkiel now Archangel Zachiel is coming through with them to bring you the soothing energy. He's reminding you how important it is in these moments to forgive. He's reminding you how important it is in this moment that you look at yourself and you give yourself permission because that's where the problem is. We don't give ourselves permission to take this break. We don't give ourselves permission to take a step back, to give ourselves time, ourselves time to stay still to just wait a little longer to just not take so many actions at the same time so archangel zakiel is bringing you this soothing again this soothing violet energy to help you feel comforted to help you feel supported to help you feel this divine presence that he brings you he's hugging you this is what he's showing me he's hugging you with his with his blanket of violet energy so you feel 
that you are not alone. So you feel that you are ready to forgive, that you are ready to let go of all the things that no longer serve you, of all the things that are not anymore part of who you are. If it was making sense yesterday, it doesn't need to be making sense today. And you need to be embracing the shifts. You need to be embracing the desires that your heart is actually showing you. Do not worry about tomorrow. Simply trust in the moment. Trust in the now. Trust that today you are where you're meant to be. Today things are as they are meant to be. Do not worry. Stay with yourself. Stay with your heart. And allow everything to be settled. Allow everything to be ready for you. Abundance will indeed flow to you if you choose to be here. If you choose to connect with yourself. To rest. He's saying this as well. It's so important to rest right now. So give yourself time to rest. And then you will start to gain clarity. And then you will start to be, you know, your mind will start to be open open outside of the fear zone and then you will see what needs to be done with certainty you will understand what needs to be done the next step without a doubt it's going to be easy and cheerful and joyful for you and that's how you will get into where you want and that's how you will experience this true divine abundant abundance that already belongs to you right now okay beautiful so Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Um, all right, so let's get going. <laughs> it's quite long. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, but I'm going to leave the tags anyways for you guys down below. So you can actually just click and, and go ahead to the right timing. Let me just get a sip of my tea, take a break. Okay. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Now, let's head to the last week, the last week of the month of April, and that is the week of April 24th through April 30th. So, let's see how are we going to close this week. What message do the angels and also these wonderful light beings are holding for us we actually have also two beautiful beings i'm sorry two beautiful beings coming through and we have first awesome again it's also bringing a lot of this it, it's amazing how the balance energy is so strong right now we started remember we started this month with this balance between this very high vibration consciousness and this very um human existence human experience earth energy we are closing the month with the same kind of vibration with the same kind of balance that we really need to be looking into right now so the first card is the white eagle talking about ancestor spirit connecting you with your lineage with family wounds or patterns that need to be healed so the white eagle again he brings us this very earth energy this very grounded energy in order for you to be grounded into who we are as a human being into the life that we have right now not um not losing ourselves into this into these mindsets and this in these thoughts that are not actually our reality yes you do need to have a clear vision about what you want to become about what you want to get but you can never allow this vision to actually be the cause of your pain to actually be the cause of your struggle so he's asking you to be grounded, be in the moment, be in the now. They are talking so much about this for the month of April. So the white ego brings you this energy of reconnection with your roots, reconnection of where you come from, understanding that many of the things you hold within yourself, many of the patterns, many of the mindsets, many of the of the thought patterns of the opinions even they come from your ancestors so there is indeed a lot to be healed and you're always going to have things to be healing 
throughout your journey in planet Earth. So it's that's why they were saying, take your time, just allow yourself to go with the flow in your own rhythm. The only way to keep moving through your own healing journey and through your own spiritual awakening with ease is by being completely grounded, by being completely present. Because otherwise, you will get lost in the fear-based mindset. Together with the white ego, as I told you, to balance this energy, we have the wonderful Shikina. And she talks about the sacred self. She's saying, unleash your, your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life this is exactly what i was saying now right i love this she also carries with her the the representation of peace she also carries with her the intuition side she also brings with her the the metatrans cube and you know the the merkaba star and this is all about transformation this is all about you know breaking through and finding that inner peace by connecting with your intuition so i love the card of the shekinah because she is closing the month of april pretty much with the energy that we cover the entire month which is understanding that you know when you are in peace with yourself when you allow yourself to simply be here that's how things will begin to be shifted that that's how things are going to begin to be healed because you're not demanding things to happen from yourself but instead you're allowing yourself to be as you are with the reality that you have right now so once you enter that state of grounded, of, um, of connection, of being, finding somehow a place of comfort within the discomfort, then the energy will begin to be shifted and twisted and broken and breaking, breaking and broken through um I, i'm sorry if i'm speaking this wrong um but that's how the energy will begin to be really uh, um healed this is what she says healed and through that healing your intuition will open up you will gain clarity you will have a much wider understanding and perspective over yourself and over your own life that's the main purpose of the energy right now is to teach us to return to ourselves is to teach us that everything is gonna be fine she's saying this now this too shall pass so do not worry about this do not try to speed up your own process and that's why she says dance with the rhythm of your own life the rhythm of my life the rhythm that i grow the rhythm that i expand that i achieve my goals is not the same rhythm that you have for yourself it's not the same rhythm that your life presents to yourself so she's saying do not this is so strong do not compare yourself to others do not compare your life your success your own energy to others to other people's energies you are unique so you it's time that you embrace your uniqueness it's time that you really connect with your truth and that you allow yourself to go as you heal. You allow yourself to expand and to gain clarity as you return to yourself. Life, this is what she says now, your life is not helping outside. Your life is right now calling you in. So make sure you take your time to be with yourself. To feel, to be there, to simply be there for you. 
be your your best friend right now be the most understanding person towards yourself right now without the judgment without the need without the victim mentality but really embrace your truth and then once you embrace your truth you really you really embrace what you feel you embrace the pain you embrace the anger you embrace the shadow because it is part of you once you really allow yourself to be and to see it with this quote dark side of you that we all have once you allow yourself to sit in that position that's when the energy will begin to finally be set free that's when the energy will finally start to move and you will be walking towards this true joy this inner peace you will be walking towards this clear understanding of who you are now um together with her i was questioning who is here for them which archangel is coming now for this week and we have archangel uriel right now the fourth week of april he comes through through to bring this transmutation of energies if you this is what he says although i do have archangel metatron here as well because we mentioned he's a powerful tool here which is the merkaba but together they are actually working towards helping us into this transmutation into this i love this now this is what they say into the connection metatron connecting our spiritual self the higher part of us and uriel bringing us the more human side of us they are helping us to break through these barriers and to be um transmuting and healing until until both get together and until we become one between both sides of us so they are here to actually help you so remember that whenever you feel a little bit of discomfort whenever you feel sad or angry or you know whatever negative feeling you don't want to feel do not push it away go ahead take a deep breath and invite all these archangels all these beings that are here for us through all the month of april because they are really here to help us to support us to really bring us what we need to to go through this moment right now so many beings came through so many archangels so make sure you are ready for this transformation this is what they all say i see them all together now like in a circle around you around me around us and they're all giving their energy giving their support in their own vibration in their own way towards helping us to move through this moment and finally step into a more abundant happy and peaceful life that we so much deserve and this is what they all say that does believe that does belong to us as long as we remember who we are and as long as we choose to get there without the needs to get there but with the understanding that there is no other way but to really experience this uh this life that we so much uh desire and that we so much um that we so much uh oh my god the word is escaping that it, that it does belong to us okay so beautiful so i know this guidance is long <laughs> a little bit longer than i used to i'm used to uh but it's part of the journey and i hope this is resonating with you i hope this brings you clarity and it helps you to understand a little bit about the energy right now um, again if it's your first time in my channel or in my podcast make sure you subscribe make sure you um, follow me as well in the podcast share this with someone if you feel like someone needs these messages right now maybe you can help someone as well and before i go i have a question for you guys whoever is watching me um, on my youtube channel I want you to comment below which of these weeks, which of this 
uh, beings actually this is what they're saying this is what the, the question actually is which one of these beings including the archangels and also the masters the gods goddesses the angels all of these beings that came through to help us in the month of april i wanted to comment below which one of them resonates the most with you right now which one of them are you truly like without a doubt that one you're gonna be calling upon during the month of april okay let's see uh which of these energies are stronger worldwide right now okay beautiful so so anyways i want to thank you so much from my heart for joining me in this guidance i wish you a wonderful and a blessed month of april may the angels the universe and all these ascended beings be with you right now helping you in this journey i know how you feel because believe me i am going through the same right now the same feelings the same struggles the same fears the same healings that you're going believe me that's happening here as well we are all in the same boat as they say okay so have a wonderful day thank you thank you thank you for being here shanti 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 and namaste